Like, you're not going to be able to find it. No. <laughs> We're going underground. That's right. Oh, it's even worse when it's concentrating. Stick your nose right in. Oh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <gasps> no way! Oh. <laughs> Hold out, baby. Sure is. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple off-grid homestead technologies for you that we've been using, and they're amazing, but stay till after, after all that exciting stuff, because we have a request from you. We need your feedback. We've got an idea, and I'm very excited about it, but we want to know if you're excited. So, see you at the end. We have a very cool project. We're building a freeze-proof We're building a freeze-proof water system. We're gonna pump water out of this pond all winter long, even though it gets minus 30, minus 40 up here. We have a very special pipe that's gonna help us do that. And now we'll have water in this little off-grid homestead all year round. Although it's pond water, it's still water. It'll be great for the ice rink and maybe we can treat this. Maybe we can use this water. And look at the little goats. Right there, I love it. This is their water source too. Piggies are getting real close. There it is. That is the magic part of the puzzle right there, Kez. That is what's gonna make this work. Okay. Remember we were talking about this? Do you remember how it's gonna work now? You didn't tell me. I didn't? Okay, so this is a foot valve yeah. and it's got a screen on it so water can get sucked through it but the water can't come back through it's a one-way valve a check valve okay yeah. which is good because you need to be able to prime this pump this the pipe yeah. so we got to be able to fill the pipe with water all the way up to the pump whatever the height of the pump is and then the pump can suck it and and pump it to where we need it the problem is, in the winter time, any water within the top couple feet of ground is gonna freeze, and definitely above ground, it'll freeze fast. Yeah. So we can't have the water stuck in the pipe. Like, we, we need it stuck in the pipe to pump it. So it comes out the hole. But we can't, yeah. And we quickly pour a gallon in, it'll mostly fill up the pipe, and then the pump will work. But it'll actually slowly be leaking, won't it? Yeah. The water will go down deep, deep, deep into the ground where it won't freeze. And there it is, I gave it away. That's the magical part here, is the little hole. We're gonna see if it works. It's a pretty darn cheap solution for a freeze-proof, winterized, ready water system. This is getting close here. We got about four feet there. They are way too curious. All right. okay, so <laughs> I'm thinking that, that once we dig this hole, they're gonna like just gonna go right in the pond. <laughs> no closer. Like, that's gonna have to I wouldn't back. put it past yeah. them. Yesterday they were trying to eat the excavator. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> this is pretty exciting, Rose. We're gonna have winter water. Yeah, for the rink, that's gonna be fabulous. Yeah, and for our house. Really? It's not like it's toxic, it's just got silt in it. And like maybe some organic stuff. This all the drains, the pink I think going right in there. We should be able to filter this. We should be able to find a way to filter this. I'm gonna drink this this winter, I'm gonna drink this. Careful what you promise I'm, while you're online. Yeah, I'm gonna drink it. You guys are gonna see me drink it. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Comes the lake. What are you making? 
I'm making a pipe pusher downer. Cool. There's our Lakeview cabin, and that water line we were working on came right up through there, and all the way up here. And this is the this is the really easy quick connect for the pump. I can prime this the guy, and it takes about three gallons of water uh, to fill the line. However far back it goes, like in that line, the water elevation is the same as in the pond. So that's like 10, 12 feet below this level. So, and the pipe goes, doesn't go down straight 10 or 12 feet, it goes down and over. So the water in this line is probably like way back here somewhere. Like it might be 50 feet away, the water. So we could do the math, but I think this is a one inch, one and a quarter inch line. One and a quarter inch line, and it takes about three gallons to fill it up. And that's it, as long as you do that quickly, you fire this pump up right away. But as soon as you leave it for five minutes, it drains back, back into the safety of the earth. So let's fire it up. Just shake it in back here. There you go. Oh, here it is. Come on, water. water. Watch out. Put her down on the oh, ice, guys. Lay it down. Woo! Oh, no. Yeah! Come on, water. We got her. Woo! Woo! That was pretty great. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. But this, I mean, the rink, this is for fun. But the thing about water is, water is really important too. Yeah. So, for the first time, we're gonna use this pond water for our house. The thing is. Not gonna lie. <laughs> the thing is, this stuff. It stinks. It kind of smells like Chilliwack. If you guys know Chilliwack, you should Google Chilliwack. <laughs> but if we can use this for our house, if we can actually drink this somehow, this is like a freedom system. If you can make your own water, like, who's gonna stop you? Look at that. This is where all the, all the slick moves happen, where I deke Julia out. What? Just no. leave her like, what? That's where what I was deke that? you out, and you're just like spinning in a what circle was looking that? for me. That was like a flash. Hey, oh, baby. there, hey. There you did it. You hosed it all. Can we oh, take baby. this over? No, we gotta go shove it in the tank over there. That's what I mean. Yeah, run over there. Don't get me. Go, go, go. So if you guys notice like the urine color, that's real. That's a real thing. It smells like a skanky pond in a overpopulated cow pen. 
<laughs> I don't know why this smell is so bad, but it is like distinctly bad. It is like the last thing that you would ever want to drink. Like when we flood the pond, everybody looks at each other. Yeah. Yeah, like, did you do that? Did you do that? Oh, it's even worse when it's concentrating. Stick your nose right in. Oh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I actually think it's dangerous. The thing is, we also want to bathe in this water, and right now, I don't think it would get anyone clean. Uh, it would burn our skin off. It. I don't know what it is, honestly. I. It's. It's blowing my mind. I don't know how it's possible. But look at those eyes. Good gracious. Ugh. Look at those pretty blue eyes. Wow. Well, the second low tech technology that has been critical here is, and I'll tell you something, it's got one major component in common. There's something really important about protecting yourself from the environment. In this case, the cold environment, but even the hot environment. And that is the simplest thing ever, earth. Like the dirt. The dirt is like, it can do everything for you. So that water pipe is buried. And as long as you can keep the water four feet underground, it doesn't freeze even like after a week of minus 25. And here's the other one, the root cellar. Remember this guy? I think it's been about three years since we built them. I really think it's cute. Hello, ladies. Hey. I think the camera is, the camera's oh, totally frosted up. off. Okay, what am I gonna do with that? Uh, wipe uh, it off with the glove. I need just cotton here. Yes. A second. I'm gonna need to grab a piece of your underwear or something. I don't wear or, cotton. Okay, just a second. Okay. You don't wear underwear? No, I said I don't wear cotton. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't need to say that. Oh, we'll be back in a second. Okay. This is our root cellar, and we put tons of our own produce in here, but it's also a fridge. So, say you want to go to town once every two weeks, once a month, you can buy a month's worth of stuff if you want and put it in here. So, look at this. We got... Uh, I mean, those are, I think, our cabbages, but this milk is not ours. We are not milking the goats through the winter. So we buy milk. By the way, Island Farms, my great uncle helped start Island Farms. That's my heritage. That's right. Here's the awesome thing. Look at this. That is a bin of ham. Here, look at this one. Abigail. Oh! <gasps> Everything kind of looks like a uh, like a soap opera right now because of the <laughs> frost frosted lens. There must be like 80 pounds of hams and bacons in here. At least that. Yeah, maybe 100 pounds. And if you want to do that, it's got to be, you know, three, four weeks. Mm -hmm. So you need root cellar. And you can't store hundreds of pounds of potatoes without a root cellar. You know, if you can grow like a million pounds of anything, it doesn't matter if you can't keep it. Right. right, and everything, every vegetable wants to be in a root cellar. And the only reason this is so magical is because up here, there's uh, there's like a foot or two of dirt up there. And that's it. That's the magic. So the root cellar uses dirt, and the water line uses dirt. And that's it. You gotta use dirt to your advantage. And, I mean, stick with us for a couple years, because I'm pretty sure our next little house is gonna be entirely buried. It's gonna be just, like you're not gonna be able to find it. No. We're going underground. That's right. Okay, let's go drink that water. So I went back and looked at the video from the fall and it's very clear why this is like, smells like poop. Why? Because we were digging the trench right through the pig pen and then in the fall, when all the rain came, it just like through the pig came pen? through the pig pen into the... So we're like, our water inlet is like the pig pen outlet. What, what do you mean? Half cup for each full tank. Those 
Did not come from the factory, those instructions. No, no, we'll drink it together. I don't think so. Hey, we're partners. Not in this crime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a quarter cup. And that is not nearly enough. Let's have some more. So we're going to put in three quarters of a cup of bleach. It's nice, clean bleach. Okay. You know what? Let's just, let's just put one more in. Okay. We're killing all the bacteria. There's still a little bit of magic coming. Okay. Ugh. Oh, it's nice in here. Remember the girl's house? They're still, they're still here, making it a little bit more homey. They got some snacks. <laughs> they got a little warning sign. Okay, here's the big idea. So we're thinking about having a way off grid event. So we have potentially a new property, another wilderness, totally undeveloped property. You guys come for like five or six days and we camp out and there might be one or two little cabins or a wall tent that you could stay in as well. If we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it in May because that's before the mosquitoes. We just hope that it'd be an awesome way for everyone to connect with other people who are interested in the same thing. And also for us to connect with you guys and for us all to connect to like a wilderness property. I think it would probably cost like 600 bucks for, uh, for an adult. So let us know, do you wanna go to an off-grid event? We'll try and get some other off-gridders who can like maybe share some skills. We'll put on some different clinics. We'll all hang out with cool, like-minded people. <laughs> We're gonna learn some stuff. Rose is gonna cook the food. Let us know. Oh dear. Oh. That. Ew! Sorry. Well, those are just chunks from the bottom of the tank. They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's looking more clear. I don't know. No, Jeff. Okay. Anyways, I didn't anticipate all those chunks in there. <laughs> okay, that is our pond water. Smell it. It looks gross. I know it does. Smell it. Oh. It smells like bleach. It smells like bleach, but it does not smell like, uh, it does not smell like poop anymore. It looks disgusting. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> this thing though, has never let us down. This. Look at the a, name! This is a Berkey, right? Doesn't that sound reputable? Yes. Yes. So we've been using this thing for a full 10 years and we put everything in here. We've put some pretty skanky water in it yeah. before. Yeah. However, never we have never put, put this. pig juice in it. Do we want to run it through a sieve? Because there's like Oh yeah, chunks. actually there's like bits from the yeah, tank. Right? Okay, we're going to filter it. There we go. Cheese cloth to the rescue. Okay, now we just got to wait a little bit. Hey, just think we're going to come back and be drinking this stuff in just a minute. Maybe. We're for sure going to. And come on, Berkey. Come on, Berkey. Well, are you ready, Kez? Yeah. You going to try some swamp water? Look at this. I know. Like, are you Are you kidding me? This is my yard. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Anyways, water. It's actually very clean looking, but it does have like a tiny tinge. You can tell with the snow behind, it's not perfectly clear. <laughs> it smells like nothing. <laughs> Zero smell. Looks like water. Looks like water. Okay, here we are. Here's the water. Two. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, to whatever disease you get from this. No! It has zero taste. Zero taste. That's unbelievable. That's We're literally drinking <laughs> like pig urine right now. Stop! I was just going to say that's a testament to the Berkey. That's amazing. That is unbelievable. I'm gonna drink it all. Anyone can sip dirty water, but to like chug drink it. Drink it? If anybody actually knows Jeff, mm. 
This is a miracle in itself. What? That you drank a glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I prefer chocolate milk. <laughs> Let us know about the Way Off Grid event. Fill up all the comments with all your... With all your comments. <laughs> Check this out. This is like too much. It's like a postcard right in our house. You're like a Hallmark movie. <laughs> One of those cheesy Christmas movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the pretty girl in the woods. 